Hey everybody, welcome back. So this is just going to be a short video today. Um, a couple of friends of mine asked me recently uh, why I haven't done any videos related to the uh, Derek Chauvin trial. And I told them the same thing I'm telling you. I think the whole situation is damned if you do, damned if you don't. And I think the jurors know it, and um, Chauvin knows it, the judge knows it. What I honestly think will happen is that Chauvin will be found guilty, but not of murder. I think he'll probably get like manslaughter or something like that, something lesser. And I'll explain why. I think originally they were trying to get murder one, but that had to be reduced to murder two and murder three. I believe also manslaughter is also being considered a part of this trial. <clears throat> and the reason is they know they'll not, they don't, they don't have enough evidence to get murder one, a conviction on murder one. They just don't. Um, you have to be able to prove certain things to get murder one, um, and they, they can't prove it. So, back to my point. I think with all the evidence that is coming out now during the trial that uh, Chauvin's knee was not on the neck at all times. He apparently moved it to his shoulder, shoulder blade area for a while. Um, it also appears that um, George Floyd may have eat, eaten some pills uh, as he was being arrested. Apparently, they found some uh, pieces, small pieces of some kind of pills in the back of the car with George Floyd's saliva on it. And the toxicology report saying he had like three times the uh, lethal amount of fentanyl in his system. I'm not a doctor, but could have caused some kind of heart failure. And so I think with all of this information coming out, I don't think the jury will convict him of murder. I personally think they will feel like that if they convict him of murder, they'll be doing an injustice. They don't think, I. this is my opinion, I think they won't feel that he committed murder. Now maybe one or two of the members of the, of the jury will, but not the whole jury. So what I think will happen is, in order to appease the citizens, there in Minnesota because they know if they don't convict him of anything, if they let Chauvin walk, Minneapolis burns. They know it. Everyone in that room knows it. There will be more damage, more fires, more looting, more rioting if he walks completely. And that's why I think what will happen is They'll convict him on manslaughter. That way they can say, well, we don't think he committed murder, but uh, we still need to lock him up to appease the mob. The problem with that is, it's not going to be enough. Simple manslaughter, he'll go to jail for five years, maybe get out after three from good behavior. Uh, it will not appease the mob. Minneapolis will still burn. <laughs> it's that simple. Damned if you do, damned if you don't. If they do convict him of murder, and they go full bore, they throw the book at him, and the jury says, yes, he's guilty of everything, you run the risk of the exact opposite, of instead of Antifa or uh, BLM showing up, and burning buildings and setting fires and destroying police cars, etc., etc. Uh, I think they feel like they run the risk of more, perhaps, right-wing groups showing up and causing violence in that way. Uh, because we all know that if any right-wing group shows up, uh, whether it be the Proud Boys or, or Patriot Prayer or any of those groups, uh, if they show up, Antifa will show up, BLM will probably show up, and scuffles will ensue, violence will ensue. It's a guaranteed recipe for disaster. 
So every single member on that jury, when they go home every day, when the, when the trial is finished for the day, they all go home knowing this. They have to. Their community will burn no matter what decision they make. And like I said, I think that's why they're going to attempt to appease uh, one group, which won't be enough appeasement. It's just going to piss off everyone. And Chauvin will spend a few years in jail. Whether you feel that's right or wrong, that's your opinion. I'm not going to tell you my opinion. It doesn't matter. Because I'm not on that jury. My opinion of the situation does not matter. So I won't be telling you. If you want my opinion, you can ask me for my opinion. That's fine. You can leave your comments down below and let me know what you think will happen. If you think I'm right, if you think I'm wrong, if you think they're going to convict him of murder, if you think they, they'll let him go scot-free. Let me know what you think. I am curious to hear other people's opinions. That's one of the reasons I appreciate having this channel. So yeah, that's what I think will happen. He's going to be convicted of manslaughter, spend a few years in jail. Minnesota's going to burn. Parts of it. Simple as that. Whether it be from uh, the left wing, the far left radicals showing up and burning things down, or it be from right wing militia members showing up in protest and thereby the left wing starting violence again. Uh, we'll see what happens. I'm not 100% sure. You know, I can't make any any great predictions. I'm not Nostradamus here. Uh, that's just what I think is going to happen with this whole trial. And that's why I haven't been really discussing it much. Like, it, it doesn't matter. It does not matter. The city will burn no matter what. And this is kind of why I feel like um, this sort of court of public opinion that we have because of uh, social media sites, whether it be Twitter or Facebook or Gab or whatever, um, I kind of feel like it exacerbates this problem. Because you'll have people who already have formed their opinions, already decided if he's guilty or not guilty before the trial ever started. Millions of opinions had already been formed on this man's guilt or innocence. So, like I said, it's, it's damned if you do, damned if you don't. The city's going to burn. And it won't be the only one. There will be others that will burn because of this court decision. It's that simple. And every member of that jury knows it. And they've got to go home and hope they're never doxxed. Because if they are doxxed, they know they'll be harassed. They'll receive death threats. They might even be attacked. They might even lose their job. Who knows? This is a situation I'm really glad I'm not on a jury. <laughs> but yeah, you know, let me know what you think down in the comments below. Thank you for watching. Until next time, I remain the Neo-Bohemian.